this past holiday, I was privileged enough to get to visit Florida, um, and it's an immense privilege of getting to experience so much wildlife in a multitude of ways. Uh, we did go to a lot of zoos, yes, um, but more than just that, it was so magical getting to see the amount of wildlife in suburbia. I do not love Florida for its socio-political environment, and I guess do not love implies there's any like where there's not. However, seeing the sandhill cranes, who I learned migrate over San Antonio in early spring, we just heard them calling overhead a few days past, walk so freely throughout the neighborhood, seeing them bathe in the sun as ordinary as our boundless squirrels back home. And the gators, wow. There was a young gator in the neighborhood pond, there was a clip of it earlier, um, and we got to see it a couple of times. And it's age reduced its size, but the possibility of them is what awestruck me. The life cycle is an incredible thing, and this is known and honored, but to see an animal who does not roam freely where I grew up at such a young point in life, it is spectacular. They will not grow to massive sizes within the week of our visit, but they will remind me of it, and I think that is more than enough. All of that was <laughs> scripted, quote-unquote. Um, um, this is sort of just free talking. Something else, though, and more important than just the wildlife, is getting to experience my girlfriend's family and her childhood. It really felt like entering a sort of time capsule, but that was so warm and not necessarily forgotten at all. Um, it was so enchanting, and getting to experience it all with her not really knowing much of what to do in Florida, so neighborhood strolls and hanging out with friends. It felt so much like being a child again in the best possible way. These street cats were so beautiful. I mean, they're not street cats, they belong to the people, but I love when cats are just friendly and do not know you whatsoever, and you do not know their intention, whether it is just for petting or for friendship or, you know, whatever, it does not really matter. I loved being in Florida, and we're about to go back, so my excitement now is hard to contain. Um, but I am so grateful for the feeling of being welcomed by people who, for a majority, it was my first time meeting. Um, I immediately felt the same love and immersiveness as I would have if I had lived there before. Um, and that is really special to find. Uh, it's rare. and. Yeah, I want to wrap my arms around it and never let it go, but I don't even have to let it go, so I don't even have to wrap myself around it. It wraps itself around me, and I am so grateful to experience that sort of unconditionalness, finally. Um, and yeah, the wildlife is just beautiful there. It really is a shame that Florida is what it is. I do not stand by the government there. Um, but man, the ecosystems and the ability for life of Mel is so cute. Um, something really interesting we learned at the Brevard Zoo, which is one of the zoos we got to go to, uh, was that a big part of their, what's it called, survival plan, is rebuilding living shores. Um, please go check out the Brevard Zoo if you live in Florida. If you don't, though, uh, they do have a whole behind the scenes blog that I really really enjoyed unrelated but they just got our copies and the Babarusa twin piglets were just born and that is so magical to me I love 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 the life cycle and I love getting to experience so many animals um, my name is Kermit I'm Kermit the Frog, <laughs> and that's all. Oh wait, there is. rainbows are colors, but only illusions. Um, I never got this far. <laughs> I wanted to give Mel's Kermit impression its own spotlight. Back to the poetic monologuing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. To sum it up, it just felt so warm and it felt like the kind of feeling people crave that I have craved, that people take for granted, that I have taken for granted. It does feel so nice to finally be present with my life, to no longer be expectant of some distant future, to only be excited for it, but with caution, with caution regarding to the sanctity 
of this moment um, of getting to experience Christmas with my in-laws for the first time, of getting to witness so many animals I would not have even known of their existence, to be able to celebrate traditions, like here we're setting out reindeer food um, on Christmas Eve, to feel that excitement of what's in the gift wrapping, and that's not the main part of it, but we know that there could be nothing in the gift wrapping, it's that tradition. Um, And to just be so immersed in some place that has already been filled with so much love of so many years um, to really just be able to take a step back and sit in comfy chairs with comfy people and to feel that love boundless also there's so many deers we have a lot of deer out in texas um but we got to see so many beautiful encounters with them there um yeah this is us at I can't remember, this park, um, and we ran into my girlfriend's old science teacher, who we had just been talking about at that park. It was such a beautiful moment. Um, there was a lot of synchronicities happening on this trip, which it seems like they just tend to do that constantly now. I'm grateful. Um, it was just so beautiful. Seriously. I am so excited to get back. Oh, this cat, you see his cheek pads. Um, I just learned while on that trip that the stray tomcats get those big cheek pads as like, I don't know, a sign of dominance. It reminds me though of how with orangutans, um, they the alpha male gets those big cheek pads um, and then males in the group won't develop them if there's already like and I don't know how true to fact that is in the way of, like, they don't. But I thought it was interesting nonetheless. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I also wore my lucky pins the entire trip, and it made me feel so whole. Um, just having my nail polish. My girlfriend got me one sampled of my dog's eye color. So now I always, I'm looking at her right now, I always have that to look down understand what that means in my life. Wow, it looks so cool to right now. I have a pin the whole time and my lucky butterfly necklace. Both of those have yeah. since run out of luck. Um, they both signal to me that they're ready to move on. And right now I'm kind of luckless. I need to get a new, like, lucky charm. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I'll make one. That clip right there, though I am talking over it, um, is... It sounded like a symphony of construction. It was such a beautiful thing. And this was my first time seeing Florida beaches, and they were so pearlescent. I've not actually seen the actual beaches. This was just a little glimpse. But man, I have not seen water move like glass. It was incredible and so pearlescent. Um, Mom, can I try that with you? Speaking in present tense now as a person who is going to Florida again in a few days, um, I don't know, it just, I'm so relieved to have a place to run off to in a way. Um, I've been feeling sort of a lot of the ebbs of ebbing and flowing of life recently, um, feeling static almost, and not necessarily for a reason why. Um, sometimes I think it's so easy, I mean, it is so easy to get caught up in what everything will be, what it will be, what it will be, um, and to be in a place where you're sort of forced to be present, I guess that's what vacations are for. I didn't really take a lot of vacations growing up, so still kind of new to it but I took more than you know none and I'm grateful for that um but this presentness is so nice and also I feel like I was able to really work on my drawing this trip in my sketchbook I did so much work in my sketchbook hit it um and because we got to go to three zoos we got to go to the Brevard Zoo the Jacksonville Zoo and there's a different and Zoo Tampa, um, and I was gifted a sketchbook by my mother-in-law um, 
for Christmas and so I took that sketchbook with me to the zoos and there were just so many incredible opportunities to draw from life and so many amazing animals also the manatees oh the humanities <laughs> Her rolls. I've just never seen the man see with that many rolls. Anyhow, I've reported this uh, over multiple times, so um, times is in like different points of time, not just redoing it. So I'm trying to figure out how exactly to wrap this up, although I really don't have much to say. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all those involved with this trip and every moment of my life. I am so grateful. And Oh, Mark Shira got it for you? Yeah. I'm actually in Florida as I speak, and I miss Shira so much. Um, yeah, have a nice day. <laughs>